Israel is, is straight up genociding Lebanon as well now, by the way. So um, Israel released their own numbers regarding how many combatants they have killed in Lebanon, okay? They claim to have killed 440 terror operatives, meaning armed Lebanese people in Lebanon. Now, this is their claim. It's obviously inflated. It's obviously a lie because... Obviously, they have no reason to do anything resembling an accurate account. They're going to up the number for propaganda purposes to try and make it look like they're not killing as many civilians and to try and make it look like they're more successful than they really are. You know, militaries always do this, Israel or not, though Israel does it worse than others. 440, okay. How many people in total have died in Lebanon according to the latest official death toll? More than 2,000. More than 2,000. So if you're keeping score here, that would mean the civilian to combat and death ratio is four to one. Do you know how bad that is? It's, it's so bad that the only way to do that is intentionally targeting civilians. As I went over in my most recent video on this, for example, in the Syrian civil war, the ratio is the exact opposite. Four combatants to every one civilian. That's even according to the numbers that are released by like anti-Syrian anti government organizations, pro-Syrian um, opposition organizations say that. In the Bosnian war, in the 1990s, another, you know, mostly urban conflict, it was a little over three to one combatants to civilians. This is four to one civilian to combatants, even using bullshit made up Israeli propaganda numbers that are designed to make them look better. The only way this can happen is if they are targeting civilians. Israel is trying to create another Gaza in southern Lebanon and probably the rest of Lebanon too afterwards. There's simply no way to kill that many people, that many civilians, unless you're trying to. And there's not really any way right now to know how many IDF soldiers have been killed. I think they, they have said eight. It's definitely way more than eight. But what Israel is willing to admit to is always like way less than what is that what's actually happening. They overinflate the amount of combatants they have killed and they way, way understate the amount of Israeli soldiers that have been killed always.